Thanks for stopping over at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. In today's video, we're going to talk about the seven essentials you need for starting and raising happy, healthy chicks. The number one thing you're going to need for keeping your spouse happy when raising your chicks in your basement or your house is the mother hen. You heard me right. This is the mother hen. It's just a cardboard box, but it's important. So when you're raising chicks, ducks, or turkeys in your house at night, they chirp and they make a lot of noise when you want to go to bed. So you take your mother hen, you put it over the chicks, and they're quiet as can be. They'll sleep through the night nice and sound. They don't make a peep until morning comes, and you take the box off, and they, and they see it's morning time. You might be thinking it's kind of cruel to put a cardboard box over your chicks, but in nature, what do they do? The mother hen sits on the chick, so this is more of a comfort to them, and it quiets them and makes them feel happier. So trust me, it's kind of like swaddling a baby. You wrap a baby up nice and tight, and it likes it. It's like being in the womb. So the mother hen cardboard box is the same thing to the baby chicks. Don't forget it. Then you're going to need some kind of waterer. You got a big bell one like this, or you got a little one. A lot of these depend on how many chicks you're doing. If you're only doing 5 to 15, that's big enough. If you're doing 25, this is big enough to start out. But once they get bigger, they're going to be drinking more water. So you got to get a bigger gallon of water. We put a little bit of apple cider vinegar in our chicken's water to start. And it just helps build up their immunity. Then you're also going to need feed. We use organic chick starter non-medicated that's totally up to you something you need to do research on for yourself if you want to do organic non-organic non-gmo and if you want medicated or non-medicated we don't use medicated we've never had an issue not using medicated but i know some people feel one way or another so that's fine that's your call it's your family it's your chickens it's their your eggs it's their eggs you're going to be eating and it's the meat that you'll be eating so it's totally your decision then you're going to want some different feeders. This one again is a little bit bigger. So if you have 25 or more chicks, you're going to want the bigger one. Or you can just have the little one just fill up the mason jar. You can buy the plastic cup that goes on it. And you fill it up with feed. We just use a mason jar. You fill it up with feed, screw it on, and then dump it over. They all work really good. The next thing you're gonna need is you're gonna need a heat source. When we raised our chickens last year, we didn't need a, a heat light. We just kept the chicken's pen right near the wood stove and that kept them more than warm enough throughout the whole growing season until they were able to go outside. We never once used the heat light. If you are gonna use a heat light, make sure you got the right, the proper light. Keep the cage on so it doesn't get too close and start a fire. I'll, sh I'll give you an up close, but we use a ceramic heat bulb when we need it. Or you can get an infrared one. I don't like, they say not to use the white because it blinds the chicks. The red ones, I personally don't like looking at a red light. It drives me bonkers. So do I want my chicks to have to look at a red light all the time? I wouldn't want them, so I'm not going to make my chicks do it. I got the ceramic heat bulb. Another preference, it's totally up to you. That's why I don't use the red one. I'm going to leave a link in the description below for Amazon that shows all the items that we have here and you can purchase them through the link. And the best part is when you buy all this stuff from Amazon, they'll throw in the mother hen for free! Woohoo! Sorry for all the noise in the background. It's 50 degrees out today. All the snow is melting and that noise you're hearing is the brook running. But it's not quite springtime here yet, but it's getting close to the time where we're going to start thinking about getting some more chicks here. So that's what made me think about making the video today. So another thing you're going to need is you're going to need a pen to raise them in. And depending on how many chicks you plan on starting at once, depends on how big of a pen you need to raise them. We've got this water trough that we use. So we're doing like 25 birds or more. Once they get big enough, we'll stick them in here. Most of the time, we just use pine shavings for bedding. You can use newspaper. That works really good. Shredded paper. Really, whatever you have, you can get shredded paper easy, or if you got a shredder, use your own paper, save some money, and then compost it afterwards. We're only raising a few chicks at a time, or a couple of ducks. I just grabbed this old dog kennel we have. 
Set it up. And use this. Then you get the problem. Then you have the problem, it's opened on the sides. Then if you leave the sides open, the chicks just push all their bedding out. So one little trick I do, I just rip the cardboard the length I need it, and zip tie it up on three sides. I leave the front open. Thanks guys for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And this is the way that we raise our happy, healthy chicks here and grow them into nice, healthy hens and get some great, fresh, organic eggs. This right here to me is freedom. We don't have to go to the grocery store and depend on everybody else to get this nice, delicious food for us. We'll see you right back here next time at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Oh! <laughs>